Hey everyone, this is Bhargav Sutar and today we will learn very important topic that how to find a least upper bound as well as how to find a greatest lower bound in a given Hayes diagram. Okay, we already discussed how to find an upper bound and lower bound in a Hayes diagram but now this is for the lowest one and the greatest one. Okay, so let us understand what is a least upper bound. Now we all know what is an upper bound. Fine, so let A less than or equals to be opposite now consider a subset B of the given set A. Now an element A belongs to A is called a least upper bound or LUB of B. If A is an upper bound, obviously it has to be the upper bound first. So A is an upper bound of B and this A less than or equals to A dash whenever A dash is an upper bound of B. Fine. So let us understand the greatest lower bound. So in same manner, let A less than or equals to B opposite now consider a subset B of A. Now an element A belongs to A is called a greatest lower bound that is GLB of B if A is the lower bound first. So obviously it has to be a lower bound first and uh, of B and this A dash less than or equals to A whenever this A dash is a lower bound of B. Now see forget about all these definitions we will discuss in examples that how to find LUB and GLB. Now let us discuss example. So this is the given Hayes diagram, fine. So consider this B1 equals to AB. So this is A and this is B. Now we want to find the GLB and LUB of the given set. So first we will find the upper bound of B1. So that means the upper bound of A and B. Now for upper bound, uh, there has to be a relation from the given set to the upper points. So first what are the upper points? That is E and D. Now can we go from B to E? Uh, yes. Can we go from A to E? Yes. So E is an upper bound. Fine. Now D. Can we go from A to D? Yes. Can we go from B to D? No. Because uh, we can go from B to E. But we cannot go from E to A because it is in the downward direction as it is Hayes diagram. So E is the upper bound. Fine. Now consider A and B. So can we go from B to A? No. Can we go from A to B? No. So, so that cannot be an upper bound. Fine. So we have only one upper bound that is E. So now see uh, what is the least upper bound. So among all these upper bounds, uh, just pick the least one. But as we have only one upper bound, so that means this least upper bound will be E. Fine. Now for the lower bound. So lower bound of B1. So what will be the lower bound? So for lower bounds, there has to be a relation from the lower points to the given set. So here, what are the lower points? So F, H, I and G, they are the lower points. Now let us uh, discuss what are the lower bounds. So can we go from F to B? Yes. Can we go from F to A? Yes. So it is an up, uh, lower bound. Now for same manner, uh, we can go from H to B, H to A. Now we can go from I to B and I to A. Now we can go from G to A, but we cannot go from G to B. So G cannot be a lower bound. So that means what are the lower bounds? F, H and I. Now we want to pick the greatest lower bound. So F uh, among F, H and I, what will be the greatest lower bound? So greatest means uh, what is in the highest position. Uh, so as just by looking at the figure in the top one, uh, okay. So F, F is the greatest lower bound. So it is very obvious. So F is the greatest lower bound. Okay. Now uh, the same graph and the different set. So consider the given set B2 that is equals to F and G. So where is F and G? So here it is F and this is G. So first we will find the upper bounds and then the least upper bounds. Fine. So for upper bounds there has to be a relation from the given set to the upper points. Now what are the upper points? So there are so many. So B, E, A, D, C. These many are the upper points. Now first can we go from F to B? Yes. Can we go from G to B? No. So B cannot be an upper bound. In same manner by symmetry C cannot be an upper bound. So E, A and D are left. Now can we go from F to A? Yes. Can we go from G to A? Yes. Can we go from F to E? Can we go from G to E? Yes. And in same manner D. So that means the upper bounds will be A, E and D. Fine. Now uh, we want to find the uh, least upper bound. So amongst this uh, E, A and D, what is the least one? So it is very obvious this A. So the least upper bound will be A. Fine. Now for the lower bound. So F and G. So F and G, what are the lower bounds? So first uh, for lower points, there has to be a relation from the lower points to the given set. 
So what are the lower points? So I think H and I, they are the lower points. Now can we go from H to F? Yes. Can we go from H to G? No. Now in same manner, we can go from I to F, but we cannot go from I to G. So that means there is no lower bound. So that means lower bound is empty set, that is 5. Now as we don't have any lower bounds, so the greatest lower bound will also be 5. So it will be 5. Now consider the same uh, figure and the third set. So B3 equals to E and D. So this E and D. So first, uh, what will be the upper bounds? So as you can see that there is no upper points. So it will be 5. Now in same manner, is no upper bound. So the least upper bound will also be 5. So it is 5. Now for the lower bounds. So E and D. So all these points are lower points. So just uh, check, we will check one by one. Now can we go from B to E? Yes. Can we go from E to B to D? No. So that means B cannot be a lower bound. In same manner by symmetry. C cannot be a lower bound. So what are left? Now A. Uh, a we can go from A to E, we can go from A to D, so that means A is a lower bound. We can go from F to E, F to D, so it is a lower bound. Now H to E and H to D, so it is a lower bound. And I to E and I to D, so it is a lower bound. So that means this A, F, H, I and A, F, H, I and G, they are the lower bounds. Fine. Now what is the greatest lower bound? Among all these, you can see that this A is a uh, on the greatest position so that means it is the greatest lower bound now consider second example so consider this uh, haze diagram fine this one is good now the b1 the set b1 is a and c a and c fine so first we will find uh, the upper bounds so what are the upper points first so as you can see that this e is the only upper point so that means the upper bound will also be e now as it is only one point the uh, least upper bound will also be e so that is E. Now for the lower bound of A and C. So what are the lower points? So for lower bounds there has to be a relation from the lower points to the given set. Fine. So D, B, F, G, H. Okay. So they are the lower points. So first can we go from D to A? Yes. Can we go from D to C? Yes. So D will be the lower bound and same manner B will be the lower bound. Now F will be the also lower bound. Why? Because we can go from F to A, we can go from F to C and in same manner G and H. See, so that means all these will be the lower bounds. That means G, B, F, G and G and H. Now see, this is important. Now see, what will be the greatest lower bound? So as you can see that this D and B, they are in the same position. But greatest means the greatest has to be only one. So it will be five. Okay, so it will be five and uh, this D and B has to be connected also or has to be related also and and you, you can see that this D and B are not related so that means CLB is fine fine now in same manner the same example and different set so B2 that is D and B so for upper bound what are the upper point first so A E and C so it is very obvious there is a relation from D to B D B to the A this given set A E C so A E C it is the upper bound fine now what is the least upper bound now now in same manner the least upper bound you can see that this a and c they are in the same position and they are the least one but least one has to be only one fine so and a and c has to be related fine so it is fine as discussed earlier now in same manner the lower bounds so you can see that this all the points will be the lower bounds so that means this f uh, g and h why F, G, H, N. We can uh, go from F to uh, D, we can go from F to B, we can go from G to D and in same manner we can go from H to D. Okay. Now what is the greatest uh, lower bound? So it is very obvious the greatest lower bound will be this F. Why? Because it is in the greatest position. So this is how you can find a GLB and LUB. Okay. Thank you.